What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about Snapdruid. Now Snapdruid is a collaborative web-based design tool for the AEC industry. AEC industry is of course architecture, engineering, and construction. Uh, now their goal is to become kind of the ultimate collaborative tool, uh, just like for example Figma did for the UI design industry. Now, as we all know, kind of the whole journey from design to construction is a very complex one and includes many different stakeholders. Currently, we're using many different disconnected uh, tools and they don't really have any kind of reliable way to collaborate seamlessly. Snaptrude wants to develop a complete solution for teams that want to design buildings and build buildings 10 times faster through automation and collaboration. It aims to balance the fluid nature of uh, designing in SketchUp with the incredible power of BIM or building information modeling. Now, since it's a web-based tool, it doesn't require any installation nor a powerful computer to run it. And if you're a student, it's completely free if you sign up with your university ID. Uh, if you're a professional, uh, it's uh, completely free for up to three uh, models. Uh, now, in today's video, I'm just going to give you kind of a quick overview of uh, what Snaptruth is and what Snaptruth does, and also some things they'd want to add in the future. Now, full disclosure, this is a sponsored video and I'm just going to be kind of listing out all of the features. Uh, if you want to check out Snaptrude, I'm going to be including links in the description of this video. Now, let's get started. So now we're going to be loading in a sketch and then converting it into a 3D model. So what you want to do first is go here to import and then you can see we can import a sketch, we can import CAD, uh, load topography, import a 3D model or PDF. Now we're going to be talking about these later. For now, let's upload a sketch. I'm just going to be looking for a sketch on my computer. Once I find it, I'm just going to hit open and then it's just going to display it here and then we can simply cl click upload and it's going to be uploading that sketch to Snapdruid. Uh, now, once it's uh, uploaded into Snaptrue, the, the next step is to scale it properly. So what you'll see here is you have this tool where you have these two points and you want to place them in a location where you already know the dimension. So for example, here I know the dimension is 8 meters, so I'm simply going to place one point in one corner of the room, the other point in the other corner of the room, and then I'm going to uh, tell Snaptruth that I want this distance to be 8,000 millimeters or 8 meters, and then it's just going to scale that, in this case by 1.554, and now we're going to have a proper scale. So now once we know that everything is in proper scale, we can go to the automate button and then click on detect from image. This is a tool that's going to allow you to basically recognize rooms or geometry on your sketch. So as you can see here, I'm simply clicking inside of these rooms uh, and the software is generating the geometry of the rooms from the sketch. So even a big complicated room like this will work. Now once we're done with this, we can then simply go into the 3D view. So just click here to go to 3D. And once you're in the 3D view, you'll see these are not just surfaces, this is actual 3D geometry. Now, if you want, you can then come in later and modify this so you're, you don't have to kind of stick with this. You can play around with some push-pull uh, tools, but we're going to be talking about that a bit later on. So now we're going to be looking at how can we load in topography into Snaptrude. So just go to import and then load topography and you're going to get a map kind of like Google Maps and then you, you can type in an address or a location. It's going to take you there and then you can kind of move around and what you want to do is just fit in the area that you're interested in inside of this black rectangle. Make sure to turn on the buildings as well as elevations and then just click on load. So what you'll see is that's going to bring in that map inside of Snapchat. So you can see here we have just a, a map and then if we go to the 3D view, you will see that all of those buildings have now been generated inside of uh, Snapchat. So they have kind of proper elevations according to the data and it has all been done with just a few clicks, selecting an address and everything from that area is now there in form of a 3D model. 
Now we're going to be talking about a feature called parametric massing. So once you have the original sketch, you're not going to stuck with that. You can modify it as much as you want. You can move things around in plan view, as you can see over here. You can also draw in extra uh, rooms uh, so or extra areas. You can just gonna draw them in like that and then modify them when necessary. Uh, also, all of these changes are being made in the 3D view as well. Snapshot also has intelligent automation tools. So once you're done kind of sketching out your uh, masses, so in 3D, just basic cubes, what you can do is go here to the automate button and then click on create building. And this is going to generate all of uh, a, a blend, or it has the slab, all of the walls are going to be there and they're going to have different thicknesses depending on their position. Placing doors is really simple and intuitive. So you just pick out the door from the library, you hover over the wall where you wanna place it, you enter the width of the door, you click and it's done. Now both for doors and windows, there is a vast library, but you can also import them from SketchUp, Revit or anywhere else. Uh, now for windows, it's the same story. You just place it and then you can adjust all of the dimensions like height, width and sill height. And then you can copy it multiple times on a wall uh, by using an array feature where you just kind of set up the distance and copy it. Now, once you're done designing the whole model and adding all of the furniture, an automatic bill of quantities gets generated with all of the areas and you can even include the cost. So you can kind of uh, generate the costs there. You can share that with your teammates and clients and you can even export it into Excel. Another great feature is the shadow analysis. So what you can do is go here to shadow analysis and then you can set up the date and time and the type of shadow and it's going to generate that inside of Snapshot. It's really good because then you can show your clients exactly how the building is going to look like depending on the time and date. And it is similar to Revit and SketchUp, but keep in mind that this is web-based and it, uh, it's not going to put any effort on your computer and the workflow is seamless and fast. Another important point to mention is that you can export from Snapshot into Revit and then you can export into from Revit and back into Snapshot. So it's completely compatible with Revit and the parametric elements are going to, well, keep their parametric properties. So if you have walls and slabs, you can adjust their thicknesses naturally uh, inside of Snapshot and Revit as well. So the compatibility uh, in between uh, these softwares is really, really good. A really huge feature inside of Snapshot is the collaboration. So you can invite your clients, your team members or other stakeholders to the project. You can invite them to view the model yourself. So you basically uh, export the model to be viewed by multiple people and then you can uh, collaborate. Uh, now you can use this just simply to uh, leave comments uh, or something like that, kind of talk about the design, but you can also work on the model simultaneously. So the structural engineer can work on his part, the architect can work on his part, and the interior designer can work on their part. You can also see in real time what your team members are doing on that exact project, what changes are they making, so uh, you can actually see everything in real time. You don't have to be working on separate models, you don't have to be working on separate uh, parts of the project, it can all be happening on the same model in real time. When it comes to rendering, your projects can be exported to various file formats and then you can render it in your rendering software of choice. Uh, so for example, this model was exported from Snapshot and then it was rendered in Lumion. Snapshot is also currently working on a Revit bi-directional link, which will allow you to take your projects uh, to Revit, edit it, and then bring it back into Snapshot and vice versa. Uh, this will ensure that uh, there is no data loss in between these models. There are three important features that are coming up. Uh, the first one is going to be rendering. So in the future releases, you will be uh, able to generate a realistic rendering from Snapshot. At this point, there is uh, no uh, types of renderings available on Snapshot. Uh, the next one is 2D documentation. So you will be able to generate all of your sheets and everything that you need in terms of that uh, 2D documentation. And finally, uh, 
Uh, the third one is going to be energy model and cost analysis, uh, daylight analysis. So pretty much everything that you need in order to improve the sustainability and to allow you to uh, include sustainability as one of the uh, important uh, design goals when it comes to your models. And that's going to conclude today's overview and tutorial of Snaptrude. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please tell me in the comment section below, uh, do you find this interesting? And would you like to see perhaps more videos on this topic? Also, if you wanna sign up, I'm going to be leaving a link uh, up in the cards above where you can sign up to Snaptrude. And also you can find that link just below this video in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.